So thank you very much, everybody. Uh, Alice Johnson has been just incredible. She's gotten out. She's recommended people to us. She knows many, many people that have put been put in prison, and uh, whether they should have been or not, she knows that they were put in for too long. Alice was given a life sentence, and you spent about 22 years. And uh, for something that today a lot of people wouldn't even be going to jail for. And uh, it was, uh, it was horrible. And we found out about it. And we gave a commutation. That means we were able to get Alice out. And she has been just so outstanding. And I'm so proud of you. And we are giving Alice a full pardon. I just told her. We didn't even discuss it. We just, uh, you were out there, I saw you in the audience last night. And I asked the folks if you could bring Alice over. We're gonna give a full pardon. We're gonna do it right now. That means you have been fully pardoned. That's the ultimate thing that can happen. That means you can do whatever you want in life and just keep doing the great job you're doing. Alice has done an incredible job since she's been out and uh, recommending other people. We said how many people are they like you. There's only one Alice, as far as I'm concerned, but uh, how many people are like you or your circumstance where they were given this massive sentence and they're good people, great people? And she said, so many. They're in jail, so many. And she's looking for those people and she's recommending those people and we've already done some that you know, that you know are good people and they've done really well since they've been out. So we're taking Alice from a commutation to a full Pardon, and I'm going to sign it right now. And we're very proud of Alice and the job you've done and what you represent. And uh, Pastor Robert Jeffress, unrelated, but he was here. And we thought maybe I'll sign this and then maybe you'll you'd yes, like sir. to say a prayer. I'd love to. And maybe you could include the media because they need it probably more than we do. They definitely need it more than ours. <laughs> that I can tell you. Okay, thank you. So, Alice, it's a full pardon. It's been signed. You might want to keep that one. And here it is. <laughs> Pastor, please. You'll take that, darling. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the remarkable story of Alice Johnson a strong believer in the Lord Jesus Christ whose life was filled with heartache and injustice. And yet, instead of becoming bitter, she chose to trust in you. She cried out to you for years, asking relief from the hurt that she was feeling. We thank you that you chose to answer her prayers to you through a great president named Donald Trump, a great leader who, yes, believes in law and order. He believes in justice but he also believes in mercy. And thank you for moving in his heart to do this great act today. And Father, I pray that today's full pardon will result in a brand new life for Alice. Continue to bless her and her family as they go throughout this nation and world sharing the good news that you, God, offer an eternal pardon from sin to all who trust in your son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, we thank you for the president. Thank you for the example he set for all of us of what it means to be a forgiving person. And we pray this in the name of the one who came and died and rose again, that we might have eternal life, Jesus Christ, our Savior. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. Thank you. Very Thank much. you, Mr. Thank President, for this great. example. Thank you very much. Thank I you. appreciate it. Alice, thank you very much, and congratulations. It's thank a you. real honor. It's a real honor. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Message to the thousands of people gathered on the mall. What is your message to the thousands? Mr. President, what is your message to the thousands of people on the mall? Come on, guys. First of all, against systemic racism and police brutality. Guys, let's go. Come on. Anything on police brutality, Mr. President? Jim. Let's go. Press. Come on, guys.